8 o'clock Sunday morning, Houston, Texas, March 8th, I think it is, 2018. We can see the sun through the clouds, but notice how it blocks it a little bit. You can almost look at it. And, uh, you know, we got to stop and think about what conclusions we could draw from that. You might think, okay, look, the sun can go through the clouds, kind of obvious, but what about looking at the sun when there's no clouds out and closing your eyes you know don't look at it of course directly with your eyes because it can damage your eyes will damage your eyes it's dangerous but if you look at it with your eye eyelids you know your eyes shut no, you, remember you can see the sun through your eyelids too you know not like this distinct kind of round but you got that bright red glare sometimes it's even too bright to look at so we got to note that uh, the sun can make it through the clouds and through the eyelid, that means through the skin. That means it's going deep into the skin all the way around us. Normally we might think that it just hits the surface, but actually, you know, it's going a few millimeters into the skin all around us. And some of the stuff, some of well, the light kind of radiation kind of stuff, even goes into our brain and energizes it so you know that's one thing to do to be scientific and think about cause effect relationships um, think about what other thing is like what we're seeing right now and what is it what it means you know integrate your knowledge find similar things based on cause effect relationships and think about what they mean you know, the sunlight going into our skin or into leaves and into bark through some of our clothing, you know, um, giving our skin energy and our blood energy and helping us make vitamin D just as plants make chlorophyll.